thanks for tuning into my channel guys what's up so this is for scorpio sun moon rising and venus for the first to the 15th of january and this is just a love reading um i usually don't do love readings on my channel but i when i do my general readings for the for the weeks what like my bi-weekly readings they a lot of the times they come out as love readings so i guess that's what i'm supposed to be doing in this um youtube verse youtube world or whatever so i don't know i'm just gonna go with it um but i'm gonna be doing that and then i'm gonna be doing some healing messages as well so i'm gonna be doing love readings and healing readings so also tell me in the bottom in the comments below if you guys want general readings and um what kind of healing messages you guys would like to see okay so yeah guys let's get into your reading so the first card you guys pulled is ostara fertility it's the perfect time for you to start new projects access new ideas and give birth to new conditions so somebody got this in the same position as you guys i don't who was it let me slow down and remember maybe it was sagittarius i don't know i don't remember you got Ishel Medicine Woman, your channel for divine healing power. And Artemis, Guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. For Ostara, you pulled the Two of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups in reverse. And the Eight of Wands. For Ishel, you pulled the Knight of Swords in reverse. The Seven of Wands in reverse. And the Page of Wands in reverse. For Artemis, you guys pulled the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. The Two of Swords. And the Seven of Swords. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. For Ostara Fertility is saying that it's the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Um, and with that, you got the Two of Cups in reverse, the Page of Cups in reverse, and the Eight of Wands. So what I'm seeing is something wasn't coming together because you probably deviated from it. I feel like there was a deviation from something. Or somebody deviated from something, somebody left a situation um, quickly, I want to say. I feel like someone left a situation fast and in a hurry. Um, or maybe you were moving too quickly into something and neglecting other parts of yourself, neglecting some of your feelings, your emotions, overlooking certain things. But um, I feel like now it's time to change that. I feel like right now is the perfect time to come together for some of you guys. I feel like now is the perfect time because in the past it wasn't. Because I feel like you guys are moving too quick or you were moving too fast. Somebody was moving too fast. Um, and people were, um, uh, also like somebody was, I don't know if it's you or the other person, but somebody, um, was swayed in a different way, which caused a union to not happen. But if you guys want this union, or you guys have planted certain seeds for this union 
is what I'm seeing or a union. And if you haven't, you need to for the union that you want because I, sh I see it manifesting quickly. I see fast movement. Um, I see quick change for you guys. And I feel like if some of you guys were doing some magic during the new moon, that's great because it's going to manifest by the full moon, I want to say. So just do your manifestations during the moon is what I'm seeing. Um, if you really want this to happen, just work with the moon cycles, okay? So you guys pulled a child medicine woman. You're a, div uh, you're a channel for divine healing power. So with that, you got the Knight of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Wands. So what am I seeing from this? Um, I feel like hmm, something needs to be healed. Um, maybe communication. I feel like there might be some type of communication I don't know if it's delayed or it has been delayed or you've been waiting on some communication to like heal you um, keep you from being confused release some confusion some doubt uh, some there's some type of hesitant energy hold on I feel like there, it's because of indecision. You're hesitant because of indecision. Um, maybe hesitant to heal a certain situation, but it's only you that can heal it. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's like literally Scorpios, the Scorpionic energy. Um, it's like magic. Um, at least that's what I've seen. Because I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart. And it's like you guys are supposed to be healers. Um, psychologists as well. Y'all and Libras are supposed to be like psychologists or whatever. But um, yeah, I just feel like maybe in the past there was a decision because somebody was swayed or both of y'all were swayed another way. But in order for you guys to get this two of cups upright there needs to be some type of healing there needs to be a decision made um i see you needing to speak with spirit or like maybe they're going to speak to you they need to speak to you but maybe they're like pondering it whether or not they should speak to you but um i say that you Whoever this is that's watching this, if if you were the one that was swayed in another way and you know that you need this other person, I say reach out to that person. Stop being indecisive and reach out because only you can heal this situation because you left. Um, this might be a cross watcher that I'm talking to. But if it's you that got left, all I'm saying is to stay where you are and if you energetically want this person, you can energetically pull this this person in by, like I said, manifesting with the moons, okay? So you can heal yourself, heal the situation by manifestation. Calling in what it is that you want. Because she is calling in everything that she wants. She is using the universe. The universe is speaking to her. The universe is moving through her. You have that power. This is you. This electricity, this fire, this passion. I see. Uh, the only thing I don't see is. I bet it's like windy over there. I just don't see air, but I bet it's windy over there. But this is like ancient power and ancient knowledge that you have that you can use to manifest what it is that you want. Okay? So then. You guys pulled um, Artemis, the guardian. You and your loved ones are spiritually safe and spiritually protected. 
So with that, you got the Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. See, you guys got the Two of Swords, and we already spoke about indecision, so I feel like... I feel like that's coming to an end. I feel like y'all already know what's up. We got Seven Seven, so I feel like you're creating new plans now. And I feel like these plans are protected for you guys. Um, there's definitely luck here. I feel like you guys might be a little anxious because you don't know what to choose, but you already know what to choose. You know what I'm saying? So it's just that you need to create new plans, think of a new way of doing things, um, find a new way of going about certain things. Because I feel like this is something that you guys have wanted. It's just that you need to go about things differently. But, like I said, this situation is protective for you guys. So, excuse me. Whatever choice that you guys decide to choose, it's protected. You don't have to worry about it at all. Um, the universe is looking after you. And, yeah. If it's between two people... I feel like you know who to choose. Um, but some of you guys could be going with a new person. That's what I'm seeing. Some of you guys could be going with a new energy, a new entity. Because some of you guys might have stayed in confusion. Um... I feel like you guys are anxious to make the wrong choice. But I see you guys having confidence moving forward. Wishes. This is something you guys wish to have. Whatever you guys choose to do, you guys are protected regardless. Your family is protected regardless. I just feel like you guys already know what to do deep down inside. And whatever I just said, because I don't remember everything that I just said, because I'd be channeling my, my dudes. <laughs> but um, yeah, like whatever I just said, out of all of that, if that sparked something in you, um, sparked an idea in you or like there's somebody that has automatically came up in your mind for this then um, you know work on that move on that you know don't be indecisive because I see a lot of indecision here I see somebody being pulled a different way but knowing where they need to be or knowing what they want okay so I love you guys so much and I will talk to you later